What is up guys, Fahir here, here, and the biggest issue that we indie game developers face when we create a mobile game in Unity is how can we make our game look the same on all screen sizes. What do I mean by this? Well, let's take a look at this simple scene that I set up with a few game objects that you see over here, and this is created on the resolution 1920 by 1080, which is, you know, the full HD resolution. And if I hit the play button now, everything is okay. Yada, yada, yada. You see, the game objects are here, everything is fine, we don't have any issues, and so on and so forth. And by the way, this is a new game that I'm creating, and if you didn't play my, you know, current game, Pookie Ninja, link is in the description below. <laughs> Anyways, what if this game is not run on a resolution that is full HD? Let's say, for example, it is run on the Samsung T310 tablet. Now pay attention to here where I'm drawing this red line or whatever I'm drawing over here. Now pay attention to this over here. How this is going to get narrower. So this right here is basically going to be invisible. So when I set that resolution, there you go. You see automatically how this game object or these two are cut out and these two on the left side as well. And when you play the game, this is how you are going to see or the person who has this tablet and plays your game, this is how he's going to see your game. Now, if you have any gameplay over here that is happening that you need to make visible, you, you have a problem. It's not going to work. So what is the issue? Now, if you Google this online, you will find a gazillion answers and advices. Do this, do that, load this, blah, 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 blah. And what I believe that, you know, big game companies do is that, you know, they probably create multiple assets for multiple screen resolutions, then they load them. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not, but anyways, what is a fix that you and I can do? Well, I have these two scripts over here, and don't worry, I'm not going to explain in detail what they do. I'm just going to explain to you how can you use them, and I'm going to provide you the download. You can download these scripts, link will be in the description below, for free, of course. Now, over here we have one script, which is called the Camera Viewport Handler. And from the name, you can, you know, suggest, you can, you know see that it is going to handle a viewport. When I, you know, put it over here, automatically you see, bam, you see we have an issue. Now, first I'm going to check this execute and update and I'm going to change the constraint to landscape because my game is in landscape. And over here you have the unit size. For your game, it's going to be different. For my game, I'm going to set 17 and automatically there you go. So automatically, there you go, it's set up. Now, if I, and this is all there is to it, you just need to change the unit sides and you are done. <laughs> so now, if I run my game in the full HD resolution, everything is, you know, perfect. It's crystal, it's, you know, it's perfect, you know. But if I go back over here and set the Samsung T310, again, you see, we see everything. It's not cut out and voila, this works you know, fine. And if I hit the play button, there you go. We can run this and it looks nice and so on and so forth. But we do have one issue over here as well. What's that issue? Well, that issue is, for example, if I go back over here in the 1920, the full HD resolution, notice, for example, this game object, it is closer to the top. Maybe you want, you, you want that game object there. This one, it's closer to the bottom over here. You see? You, you want it there for some reason, your game needs this game object to be over here. But if I go back over here in the Samsung T310, you see now we have more gap over here. This one is not closer to the top. And if we have even more resolutions, for example, I don't know this one, you see the issue? Look at the issue over here that we have. It's, it's not, you know, it's, it crosses the top. This one crosses down the bottom and you don't want that. So if you play this game or person who has a phone with this resolution, he plays your game, you see everything is cut out. So what's the second solution to this? The second solution is this anchor game object. So for example, I'm going to take this one over here. So this bad boy, and I am going to select it and I'm going to attach this anchor game object. There you go. And automatically you will see it is positioned right here at the bottom left corner. Why? Well, because over here, you will notice in the anchor game object, we have anchor offset and anchor type. Anchor type, where is the origin of your game object going to be? So if I set it over here to be, for example, middle center, and I'm going to check the checkbox to execute it in the update, this is the origin. So this is the origin, the center of your game object. If I set it to middle right, this is going to be the origin of your game object. Now, if I want to move it, for example, I want this not to be here, but I want it to be here, for example, I'm going to set the anchor at the bottom right. And I'm going to use these anchor offset, for example, X and move it over here and Y to move it over here. And voila, there you go. 
So this is on the full HD. And of course, I'm going to show you an example on this one game object. You can do this alone for all other game objects that you have in your game. And if I go now over here inside of, I don't know, what was that resolution, this one, you will notice again, it's not cut out. It's at the bottom right corner. It stays perfect. And if I go over here on the Samsung, again, it stays at the bottom right corner exactly where you want it to be. If you hit the play button, you will notice, there you go. It is standing where it's supposed to be. Not like this one, for example, in the full HD, you can remember and it's in the landscape. This one is a little bit closer over here to the, you can see it is closer to the top. And if I go on this resolution, 2960 by 1440, this one is cut out. And notice this one is not, it's not cut out. And if I go back over here on this one, so this one over here, and let me select this bad boy, there you go, rock, and attach the anchor game object, and set the anchor at the middle, middle, actually at the top, center there you go and set this execute and update and move it just a little bit down something like this on the y-axis you will notice maybe just a little bit more you will notice it's near the top in the full hd if i go back now and set this the 2960 the resolution that we have issues with notice again it is from the top it's not cut out and if you play the game there you go everything is working perfectly now i'm going to give credit because this script is created by this dude over here i don't know this his name uh, i have no idea andrew do do whatever this is where you can get that script over here and this is the complementary script that goes with it the camera anchor and this one is you know this over here the the script from this dude here it is. So this one is to position the camera, the viewport handler, and this one is to position the game object. Now, these are the scripts that I, you know, this is where I found them. You can use these for whatever. I'm just giving credit to these nice people who created this. If, however, you want my modified scripts from these, you can also get them from my website. So these are the anchor game object. This is the modified script, modified, modified script from this dude that I got and this camera viewport handler, I modified it as well. But you can get these two, the modified ones from my website. If you want the original ones, I will put these links in the description below. Anyways, I love you guys. Uh, what else can I say? Subscribe if you want more of these small tips and tricks that can help you improve your game. Don't forget to play my games. I'm going to put Poke Ninja, you know, probably here somewhere in the video. You can see it slashing. And anyways, you can download the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.